And we've now got Titan pinball rubbers or silicone across the play field. Now it's time to start getting the plastics and then eventually the ramps back on this baby. Plastic assembly has begun. I've gotten the bottom portion right there. And now I'm starting to work on removing the rivets and hardware like that to put onto the new plastics. This is old and yellow. Old and but old and busted, new hotness. So basically getting out the drill and drilling out all the rivets. Removing the dome, putting it over here, and installing the new plastics for like right here and getting those all riveted. Alright, so a good chunk of the plastics are back on the play field. I'd say about at least 90% of them. This is my next adventure right here. So the plastic set incorporates new green portions right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to strip everything off of this stainless steel. Get the stainless steel all nice and cleaned and polished up. Get the new plastics on here. LEDs, obviously, instead of the condom-covered incandescents. And uh, that should look a hell of a lot better. And here we have everything but the ramps, I want to say. And the apron, obviously. But this is with all new plastics. Everything's pretty much assembled. This is merely a placeholder, but just to give you an idea of what goes there, that's the old and busted. But that is what Earthshaker looks like with everything but the ram. Son of a bitch! This thing fell off again. I'm going to need something more tackier than whatever the stock is on this because this is bullshit. This is the second time this damn thing's fell off, so... I'm going to get something a little stronger than... That's not even tacky. What the hell? So, yeah. I'll deal with that. Hell no. <laughs> that, that's crazy. Brand damn new. So, uh, like, uh, yeah. This looks damn good. I'm pretty sure in order to get this ramp on that goes right here, I'm going to have to remove all this bullshit. <sighs> I just wanted to see what it looked like. Was it all assembled right there? <laughs> it's always nice to see progress. Let's go to the other side over here and see what we got going on. Just to see what everything looks like from this particular angle. I need to uh, re-zip tie all this a little more snug to that. I haven't done that yet. There we go. On that. Oh, so fresh and so clean, clean. So here we have the fully assembled decal new hotness versus what it used to look like. And the thing is, this is still perfectly useful, and I bet it could be cleaned up. I'm not just going to throw this out. I, I plan on bringing all this stuff to like the TPF swap meet and everything. So let someone else clean that up and use it. Sell it for really cheap. All the plastics and ramps and everything that I've got here. So, but all right. I think we're ready to put this on the play field. And this is why we test everything, ladies and gentlemen. Because you want to make sure you don't have crap like that whenever you're fully assembled into the cabinet. Because I'm going to have to remove this damn ramp. I guess the molding is a little bit too long down there on the cusp of it. Being, and not to mention the plate filled flamp wraps are like a good, I don't know, quarter inch off. But it has been a pain to get this thing completely lined up and where the screw holes are at and mounted nice and solid. Now, the only thing I need to do is basically just trim off a little portion of that ramp down there, and then we should be good to go, but that's definitely not going to work. All right, let's try that again now. There we go. So, all right. 
now we may continue. So me being stupid, I was working on this ramp first, I had all this assembled up here, and my dumbass needs to work on this ramp first. Because this goes under everything and goes right here, and that's going to determine a lot. So I need to swap out this ramp and get that mounted and all set up and everything, and then I can work on the other stuff. So let's start over. So I'm coming to find out that this ramp is also going to be fun, as suggested with the Moving Building Mod uh, Maker. If you have repro ramps, they have like an extra lip on them right here. Makes the ramp stronger and everything, but it's interfering with this. So in order for this to work effectively, I'm going to have to make a little cut in this vicinity right here. So that way this is able to freely roam, and then the ramp can get down in position, but I can't in the current state. So I'm going to mark this, that way I know where I need to make uh, an incision, and then uh, we'll go from there. So I haven't got anything screwed down except for just the main points, but now we have a slot ready for the moving building. Alright, so I think we're ready to actually assemble the flashers and everything on this ramp and then get it mounted. Alright. Something you guys need to see is the difference in the thickness in the original ramps. Get you a good look at that to this I mean these things are never gonna break but what sucks about this is how it changes the ability for me to mount the original hardware in comparison to this it just slides right into place all the room in the world, no issues. But when I want to put it on this, it doesn't fit. So my plan is I'm going to have to basically shave down the inner portion right here for this to slide up into position for everything else to line up and get into... Oh, it's aggravating, but yeah. All right, so what I had to do in order to get this, because it's, it's not just a protector, it's got to go be aligned with all of this. So all I had to do is basically use a torch and heat up this end of the ramp and just kind of like push it in to where this is able to be right snug as it possibly can be. I mean, it looks pretty damn good. I got the ramp essentially mounted. I just need to actually screw it to the play field right here. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any other issues. But it looks like now the ramp should be ready to assemble and mount to the play field. My God. And the final ramp has been built, assembled, ready to install. My goodness. And here we have it, an assembled Earthshaker playfield, supposedly ready to play a game, to do a quick check on bulbs and switches and stuff like that, make sure everything is fully functional before I begin going any further on this. I mean, if I can't get a game to play, then I'm not even going to bother getting the cabinet and everything going because it's one of the most important parts of this is the game being able to play. <sighs> so I know I need to tighten up the flippers, bats, those still haven't been tightened up yet. So I'm going to tighten those things up and get it hooked up to the machine again. And we're going to see what it looks like all lit up. Time for the smoke test. And just to see if we've got any big issues that need to be figured out. <sighs> guys so now we're gonna be going through all of the built-in tests on this game to make sure everything is working the way it's supposed to 
Right now we're doing all lamps. Uh, unless I'm missing something, I think we should be pretty good. All the lamps look to be fully working. And then we're just gonna mosey our way through all the switches and all that stuff and junk. So I had to adjust pretty much all of my leaf switches for my pop bumpers. They weren't sensitive sensitive enough for me. All the leaf switches for the Vux, they were either too sensitive or just not reacting at all sometimes because they weren't close enough. So it was just in that in-between area and I want consistent. So, and then my left slingshot wasn't working and I'm like, why? And my dumbass didn't uh, solder the diode on to the correct lead. So now that just, that's working. I mainly just got it right there sitting. It's not soldered on yet. I just wanted to, bam. Okay, so now I know that it does work. I just need to solder that onto that lead and we should be good to go. And then I think we'll move on to the next situation that I have to fix, but we're still working our way through all of it. All right, just got finished playing a game. A little bit of manual intervention on my end because I don't have an apron, so I had to keep on having to, you know, play this and smack it up there to get it going. But otherwise, uh, the game was playing 100%. Uh, so I guess that means we can move on to the cabinet. Oh, man. I honestly don't know, guys, if I'm going to have enough time to have this thing, like, show-worthy for a Texas Pinball Festival. It's like, yeah, I can get it cleaned up and everything. And make it look, ow. As you can tell, the knocker works. Make everything look pretty and stuff, but I just don't think I'm gonna make it like, uh. I mean, I'm aiming for the 80s category. It ain't gonna be a best of show machine. I, I doubt that. But uh, maybe an 80s category. I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see, but uh, yeah, this thing's already dirty. <laughs> it's been open to the uh, the elements right now and everything. So, all right.